Okay, we're going to do another video here on the Osborne 2400. Um, this time it's going to be about raking the coals when you reload. And a, a way that I found really seems to be working well for me. Um, and cutting to the chase here, in case you don't want to watch the whole video, I guess. It, it's here's the return. Here's the air return. Get a divot in your coal. So so when you when you rake, um, you know, so it burn it'll burn down. You have a bunch of hot coals. Pull them forward a little bit, but rake to the left and to the right, and then you end up with this divot sort of up up the middle, and then you load your wood east west, and that first piece this. Uh, recirculated air will shoot under that first piece and it'll flame up I'll show you another clip here in a minute when when I reload uh, what what that looks like it'll flame up under there and then it'll reach to the back pieces and it'll get those pieces started much more quickly than if you just let them sit in there on a flat bed of coals and relied on those coals to alone uh, without the recirculated air benefiting as large of an area um, and just relying on those coals to get the wood wood started. So I've been told, uh, one another commenter, I forget the, the guy's name, uh, said that for the 20, this Osborne model, north-south loading, so north-south meaning this way pieces, not this way, um, is the more efficient or you know better burning way for this stove i can't do that my pieces are too long now you might say well hey well there you got a short piece well i happen to have one short little chunk of poplar i threw in there the rest of it's uh, red oak um so that that's the the basic method and i can tell you man boy that thing isn't flamed much there's not much wood in there it just started it up for the morning but that thing is hot like I can't, it is hot. That, I, that's why I'm off to the side here. I was straight on for the first video and my, my phone just got, I could feel the heat radiating and I touched the back of my phone even in, in its case and it was just really hot. So, so that's the basic method. I'll cut here and I'll show you um, the initial burn portion and you'll be able to see the flaming and, and maybe get a better idea for what I'm talking about. All right, the stove has burned down pretty good here now. So I'm going to load it back up. Oh, their piece just fell. Um, you can see the little divot, you know, remains because uh, that's where it burns, you know, the hardest. You can actually even see it in the back, how the center of the back piece has the same effect. It's burnt out in the middle uh, where those gases flow up the, the center. So I'm going to rake the coals and then show you uh, the uh, result. Okay, here's the middle step with the coals raked open and kind of the divot in the center. Oh, and that baby is hot. Um, but you can see how it's flaming up the center. Uh, it's sort of flaming everywhere because I have the damper open. Let me, let me close the damper down and then you should see a more focused flame just in the center. Okay, there we go. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a flame obviously the big one here in the center but there's another one blowing all the way up the back there um behind i only have two pieces in i'm just you know trying to like show you guys this but there you can see how that recirculated air really burns up the center so uh, you know i'll stack a couple more pieces on top of that to load it up and um man that's still that's burning pretty good right now i've got the damper closed all the way and it's already taken off really good but that's the method that i've been using and man that works really good um for getting these pieces started quickly i tell you i threw these two pieces in and the first i don't know why i threw the front piece in first but put the front piece in and before i even got the back piece tossed over there the front piece had already lit of course i had my welding glove on <laughs> So look, look at that thing go. It, it's This is near real time. I know I had a brief cut in the video there, but this is almost near real time. That thing really took off quickly. 